here's um, another way to um, build the um, the roofs and details of buildings generated with the um, generate buildings function in architect tools if um, you have a volume as you can see here where you don't have the roof edge um, projected onto the volume you can use project down tool where you first click on the target face and then you click on the edge and project down and that then splits that face up you can do that on both of these click click and then it's ready to be used by Manning tool. Which here we wanted a snap like that. And notice that we're not in the group with the face itself. It's all done um, regardless of. Uh, how many nesting levels the face is in. So, there, click the target face, and then you get a preview. It doesn't always work depending on how um, accurate the map are. There's sometimes small inaccuracy problems. Um, we'll make it fail. You can just keep on detailing the buildings that we're going on. Now, here we need to adjust these, and you can see it. These points are not correct. Because it should be somewhere along there, but it's a bit difficult to oops to control that. So I'm just going to let it generate the, the surface like that. It is incorrect, as you can see. So we use a different tool of that gun in and selected that from the surface, and I have a move to plane tool. So, okay, I don't think I actually needed to go into that. Yeah, it works like the other ones. And as I hover above, you can see the internal um, uh, triangulation of the surface. And now we want to fix this one, so it's planner. And hmm, in fact, I have to cancel that. I want to I need a reference plane, and for that, I'm going to swap the triangulations. So you can see this triangle is correct, and this this is the plane we want to use. So I can exit and then I'm going to turn around. Gonna select the move to plane tool, pick the surface, and then as it says on the bottom, pick edges to define target plane. And we can just pick edges that belong to um, actually I didn't have to use that do the previous thing here because you can click this face and use the edges of this face, but can also just do this and this and the plane that these edges define um, the entire surface will be projected to that plane so press the return to commit I have the surface selected I picked my edges 
define the plane I wanted to project to and press enter and it is now projected along to that. I mean it sort of missed the contact with that but it doesn't really matter um, it's a kind of small uh, difference in anyway. so with that method you can also detail your model in this manner just quickly run along your all your buildings and, and add the roofing details.